the neck down is on the road to recovery. It was earlier this year, Hannah Sorensen, her sister and grandmother were in a car accident on Highway 98 in Gulf Breeze. The three survived, but with serious injuries. Well, now after nearly seven months in the hospital, Hannah has made improvements and is ready to get out and begin recovery at home. WEAR Sarah Gale has her story. Meet Hannah Sorensen. The seven-year-old was like any other kid, learning how to ride a bike and running laps. But that all changed on February 25th, 2024. All I remember is just closing my eyes and my neck falling, like, to the side. Hannah, her little sister Hayden, and their grandmother were in a car accident in Gulf Breeze. All three survived, but Hannah was paralyzed from the neck down. So, uh, that means that, like... Um, that like you can't move like certain part of your body. No, nothing really quite prepares you for something like that. If you would have asked me uh, seven months ago what to expect here um, and that she would be where she's at now, um, I, I, I truthfully would have told you I'm, I'm not sure that my kid's going to live. This is a crash report from Florida Highway Patrol detailing how the accident happened. The driver of Vehicle 1 states in the report that they lost consciousness and didn't know how they ended up crossing the median and hitting Sneed's car. Girls were pulled out through the trunk by a wonderful angel out there who was just driving down the road. But this is a happy story about Hannah's recovery. Before, Hannah couldn't move anything. Now she can move her head a lot more and is able to move her hands and her toes some as well. She was even dancing and singing to Taylor Swift for us. Both young when I first saw you, I closed my eyes and the flashback starts. They've told us it's a, it's a marathon, not a sprint. However, um, that being said, she has crushed goals and uh, milestones. She's making the most out of her time in the hospital, cracking jokes, blowing bubbles, and playing Minecraft. Her family tells me Hannah is a living miracle, and her optimism, resilience, and overall joy is infectious to everyone around her. So everyone, everything. She was so active before. She could do flips. She, would, you know, she got a trampoline at my house, and she would do flips on that, and um, just, just so strong. And throughout all this, she's not wavered from her strong heart. Her recovery is a long one, but Hannah is strong and determined. I can't think of, I can't think of a, a, a stronger person that could get through this. I think yes. that she's the, um, the one person in this world that it doesn't surprise me at all that she's come this far. Sarah Gale, WEAR News. Hannah, you're beautiful. You've got a fan of everybody in this studio. <laughs> Great story, Sarah. Hannah expected to leave the hospital this week and start her first day of second grade. In fact, she did that online today. If you'd like to follow her journey, we have a link to her recovery page attached to this story on our website at WEARTV.com.